Hello, welcome to Traditional Stitches Floss Tube video number 41. I'm Janice Spencer, the owner of Traditional Stitches, and Merry Christmas to you, Rose. How are you? Merry Christmas. Good. How are you, Janice? I'm really good. Yeah. You see, you've got your beautiful tree behind you. I have yes. my little condo sized tree behind me, too. So <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. Yeah. So, how has your month been? Uh, it's been busy. I've been doing a lot of baking and working and stitching and yeah uh, just just a lot lot of stuff hmm. and you well it's been oh I can't even remember now it's got just gone by like that so no. we're we're recording on Thursday December 14th so there mm -hmm. are exactly 10 days till Christmas so are you ready yeah I am I am uh, large family, we end up giving money to grandkids instead of buying gifts. I, I have no idea what to buy for some of them. And for the rest of it, for the meal, they opted for Christmas Eve and fondue. So it's like, okay, hmm. we'll do that. So not a lot I have to do, okay. except just enjoy. Wow. So I'm looking forward to it. That's what it's about. Hey? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Well, I just have a few dinners. Um, guild meeting, uh, Christmas party is coming up next week, and then family things. But otherwise, it should be pretty quiet. So good. good. Time yeah. for lots of stitching then. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. And the reason is that we're busy in the shop right now creating kits for our Ann Johnson stitch along that starts in February. So that is the first thing that we're going to talk about in this video. And then we're going to talk about Lucy Barber and mm -hmm. Hannah Campbell, mm -hmm. uh, some shop updates, uh, including Christmas related deadlines, ideas, that kind of thing. And then I've got a pile of hand dyed linens to show off, including quite a bit of mason linen. Mm -hmm. So you all have to stay tuned for that. <laughs> all right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is our Ann Johnson exclusive limited edition sampler from Hands Across the Sea samplers that we're currently taking advance orders for. So this is our stitch along that's going to start on February 14th, 2024, on the day that we wrap up the Lucy Barber stitch along. So everybody just needs to be ready to move straight on into a new sampler. Um, we don't have the charts yet. They'll be here in the next week um, to show you, but I do have everything else. We have it all in stock. So first thing that I want to show you is I finally have my hands on the thread bed uh, project that we had developed for our complimentary gift for people who order complete kits of the Ann Johnson sampler. So I can show that to you in person here. So sweet. Give you an idea of the thread, uh, the size, and actually it came in at just such a practical, usable size. I'm really thrilled with how they turned out. And so it has a snap closure. And then in the middle, it has the quilt bat that is a little bit tacky so that you can just snap up your threads and they'll all be exactly where you want them to be when you're ready to stitch again. So those are so I'm, pretty. I am super excited about these. So this, this one's not going back to the shop. Oh, good. Oh, good. Nice treat for you. Yeah, it's going to hang out with me. I need a memento for these things. You do. So anyways, the girls in the shop are busy putting together thread packs and cutting linen and putting labels on everything and we're getting ready to go. We're going to start shipping Ann Johnson the week between Christmas and New Year's, but just know that it's going to take us at least a month to get through all of them. And our biggest goal is to get them all in the mail in time to arrive so that you can prep your fabric for the February 14th stitch along date. So as long as that's still in the horizon, don't worry about it. We're on top of things and we'll get that to you. Um, so while I'm talking about the shipping of Ann Johnson, um, all chart only orders outside of North America are going to be shipped directly by Nicola at Hands Across the Sea Samplers to just save on postage because she gets a much better rate than we do and we want to always pass that along. So if it's a chart only order outside North America, it's going to come from 
Nicola. And if it's anything else or anywhere else, it's going to come from us. So that's what's Sounds happening. Good. And we have systems in place too, that if you decided that you wanted to add something to your Ann Johnson order, like Esther Blackwood or Lucy Barber or any of those, we have systems mm -hmm. in place to combine those orders so that they ship together and just help save a little bit on postage. So um i think that's all that i had to say about the shipping uh right yes okay so now i have some threads and some fabric to show you i don't really know where i want to start but so this <laughs> is let me see if i can do this the thread color palette and linen for the okay. swadage that is so gorgeous. Doesn't that just glow? It does. It's It just pops off of that. It's going to be a very rich sampler. Yes, absolutely. So in our last video, I misspoke and I said that the fabric for the sampler was Muddy Duck. And it, in fact, is Tickety Boo. Oh. It's from uh, Tabby Cat Linens in France. And it's a lighter version of normal Tickety Boo. Um, so that's what's going to come in your kits. And you and I were talking about uh, this before we started the video, just how rich and how much those colors are going to pop. And yeah. Yeah. Um, the color kind of reminds us of Weeks Dye Work Straw, if everybody's yeah. familiar yeah. with that, which we've used in um, Hands Across the Sea, sea Stitch Longs and in our Blackbird What Remains sampler. And it's just such a glorious color. So um, we're, I'm, I'm excited. I cannot wait to start this. I, and, and, you know, just a little bit of side note. I Fabrics can be very neutral or they can be a little bolder. And I think the Tickety Boo is a little bit bolder, but when I get a color like that, I find it just makes your sampler sing. Yeah. And so embrace that color because I think you will be so happy with the results. Yeah, I'm, I cannot wait. So I don't have the chart to show. Um, I will insert a picture of the sampler here so that you have a few seconds to look at it. But on the thread beds, there's some lighter colors in the stitching in this section and in here and this uh, satin border here and everything that those light colors are just gonna look so good. Yeah, you need a little bit of a darker, bolder linen background or Ada or whatever you're using to make those lighter colors show up. Yeah, so. absolutely. So let me show you a few other things here, if I can manage to do it. So this is the palette for 100 over three. Oh, so gorgeous. Can't you wait? This, I love this color. That Just is a nice. dusty blue, gray, green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so those are the 100 over three. That's a nice little basket you have here. <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because otherwise I'd be picking them up off the floor. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and these are the DMC. Mm -hmm. So there you can just see how it's such great colors. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Okay, and then um, some people wanted to opt for a non-hand dyed linen. So we brought in a legacy linen um, in this one is the 45 count Thai iced tea. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can figure out how to show that off. Um, linen, so 45 count, and we also have it in 38 count version. Mm -hmm. And so this is what it's gonna look like with the thread colors. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's Ann Johnson. She's a big sampler and I, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. <laughs> I agree. Uh, okay. It's so exciting to have something to look forward to like that. I don't want to rush um, Lucy Barber, but I can hardly wait to have Lucy so I can start Anne. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that how it works though <laughs> when you get to the end of it, of something? So you're ready yeah. to complete and go on to the next. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so if anybody has any Ann Johnson questions, just let us know. Um, one thing that I wanted to say was the 
there is cross stitch over one on the sampler for her name section and the verse section. And for those of you that are using 100 over three, we do have Swasserfine uh, to send for the cross stitch over one. Um, if you're using a different thread, you might not necessarily need a finer thread, depending on what your thread linen combo is. But if you wanted us to add the next finer thread to an existing order, email us to let us know. Okay. And if you want to add it to a new order, just add it to your new order. Check okay. the box. Okay. okay, so then we get to talk about Lucy Barber. You bet. And we're month number 11. Yes. So <laughs> it has survived, but it's pretty <laughs> ratty. Let me pull out my, there she is. Okay, so month 11 is this section here, okay, with the 11. And I haven't even looked, I haven't pulled it out yet. I've been working on Hannah, so which you'll see next. So I'll just do the bottom half. And there is the bottom part thus so far. And it's basically a mirror image of month 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, exactly. So um, if you did the satin stitch flower and you like, okay, it's, it's okay, but I wish I had more practice, guess what? You get to do it again and get really proficient at it. So how did you find that? It was good. I had no problem with it at all. And I went back just to look at Nicola's instructions and that really just cemented how to do it because I have done padded satin stitch a little bit differently uh, than what she had. So I did what she had. And, and for everybody that's wondering, you have to go look at the uh, the video, which is on Lucy Barber. Yeah, in I the posted. Facebook group. Yes. Yeah. And it worked really well. I was quite pleased with it. So okay. I had to, I, I mean, I went over any areas that were a little bit thinner in that. I had to uh, stop myself from wanting to keep on going and going and going type of thing. <laughs> and so you have a really three-dimensional padded satin stitch. So, but that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I didn't see very many questions in the face group. But Facebook group so hopefully everybody found it uh, worked well for them too. I, I think with that video I think it was very intuitive so I'd like to say people didn't have problems but if anybody's watching this and they're still having problems reach out to reach out to us whether on Facebook or private message. So. The one okay. thing that I wanted to say about this is um I forgot to bring my finished sampler. It's hanging on the wall in the shop. And when I walked out of the shop last night, I had this great big bucket of linen. So it totally forgot to bring the sampler. But um, when we talked about this in a much earlier video about how this looks a little bit, maybe like Rudolph. Mm -hmm. in this, and that was what uh, my friend Janine Cheney, who owns Acorns and Threads, said mm -hmm. was she thought it was Rudolph right off the bat. So when I stitched mine, the front end of that deer, I did give it a red nose just for that purpose. So, yeah, just to have a little bit of fun with that. Anyways. There we go. <laughs> Whether anybody notices it looking, looking at it, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to say. It's I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence of what I'm going to do. Huh. All right. Yeah, I've got the back end of the deer, but not the front end yet. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we're going to talk about Hannah Campbell. Yes. So we're into uh, month number eight. Yes. And so that is kind of the halfway point because it's a 15 month stitch along, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So the section that people are working on for the month of December is this middle kind of bit in here. Yes. Okay, so try to do that. So that's the middle section there. Ah. Uh, try not to get too much glare. Yeah. So I was going to say, well, why are there circles in that section? But actually, those are just the eight, the number yes. eight, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
so if we're on month eight for this month, I am sorely behind. I was thinking I was on, on top of it, but oh. that's okay. I, uh, I got busy with other things. So, okay. so that is all I've got. I'm just working with the swastrophene and the over one. And I just got a few letters or some more letters and some little over one animals. So it's lots of fun. No, yeah. Lots of fun. Looks um, great. Yeah. And, and I mean, even the um, eyelet stitches, that eyelet border is, is kind of fun yeah, to do. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, a little mm. bit different. I uh, For those that don't like specialty stitches or a little bit scared, just remember it's something a bit different. And uh, it really captures your attention. Well, and the sampler gives you some opportunity to mix it up a little bit too, yeah, to yeah. do cross stitch and do then do other things. Yeah. yeah so yeah. this is where I'm at. Oh, wow. So I'm almost near the bottom border. Wow. So if you can That's see cool. that a little bit better. Yeah. You? So I kind of skipped a little bit with the cross stitch. If I've been on a video call or something like that, it's just easier to do the cross stitch than the over one. And yeah. Um, I've been evolving my way across that eyelet band. I actually counted across and did all of the middle eyelets with one thread yes. of linen, just carried. Yeah. And then I've just kind of been building them with each color oh, as I go okay. across. So, okay. okay. Yeah. I started, um, well, I did the middle on the first one, and then I started doing the outer eyelets and just basically traveling and continuing on. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to do is just kind of travel and do half the eyelets and continue and then come back. And uh, instead of starting and stopping, and uh, you know, as much as I can, the um, eyelets aren't too bad in finishing off in the back, but it's still, it's still a little tough. Yeah. So Boy, do whatever makes it easy. Yeah, and if people find that tight, that's always a good opportunity to switch to your beading needle, your uh, John James Tapestry Point beading needle, just to tuck those threads in the back. That's that's yes. a trick that I use sometimes because they do get pretty tight. I was working on the over one last evening and I just had a 28 needle for the regular stuff and, and I could not find my beading needles anywhere. And I thought, I know I have them. And so 10 minutes later, I finally found them I just had to think about it and boy does that make a difference to not so much stitching because you can get away with a 28 um, needle but it's the finishing off in the back so mm -hmm. that's yeah. the tight part exactly yeah. all right well I have a secret hope which I guess is not going to be so secret now <laughs> to finish Hannah by the end of the year Oh, you can do it. I know. So, you. It, yeah, it kind of depends on how much stitching time I end up with. And if not by the end of the year, maybe by the next video. So yeah. we'll, we'll see how that goes yeah. now that I've yeah. spoken it out loud. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> now yeah. everybody knows and we're all going to be checking up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Hold me to it, please. Yeah. I need some exactly. accountability. Yeah, there we go. Those are your marching orders. Oh, okay. Uh, well noted. <laughs> All right. So um, some things that are going on in the shop. Um, we kind we've essentially hit the Christmas shipping deadline date. Um, we have some last minute ones that we can send out, last minute orders that we can try to send out by uh, express post. But the reality is with how busy the post offices and timeframes and stuff that we've kind of run up against that deadline. Um, so if anybody is still looking for gift ideas to give to their, their gift givers, um, we always recommend gift certificates. And yeah. uh, we're set up so that we can email those directly to either the giver to print off and put into a card or to the recipient directly, and then they've got it to use when they want to use it. So that's kind of where we're pointing people now. Um, we are open right up until three o'clock on December 23rd. So we always expect lots of last minute requests for gift certificates till then. 
Um, we're going to be closed on the 24th, 25th, and we do close on the 26th. Um, in Canada, the 26th is a big deal for Boxing Day. And so since everybody is busy doing that, we're just going to stay at home and stitch, I think. Here we go. Yeah. And then we are open on December 30th and closed the 31st and the 1st. And then after that, we're just back to our regular shop hours. Okay. So. So now I'm going to show you some of the hand dyed linens that have arrived in the shop um, that are on hand for shipping right away for, for a few minutes after the video is posted anyways. <laughs> okay. um, and uh, that you just might want to see in person anyway. So uh, speaking of seeing them in person, Rose, <laughs> you were in the shop a few days ago. Yeah, I went down a bit of a rabbit hole there. <laughs> I came in and there was a piece of lakeside linen sitting there. I found out from one of your staff that it was an extra. And I went, it's mine now. And then I kind of moved to the one area where there was some linens. And I proceeded to pull out some mason linens. And it's like, yep, yep, those are coming home with me. And found another piece I liked. And yep, that's like, <laughs> yeah. So when Rob saw the visa bill, I just, I think I kind of ignored him. <laughs> Yeah, I, things I needed. I, I really need it. So just remember, this is Christmas. And you really need these things. You really need this linen. You cannot stitch without the linen. <laughs> so mm -hmm. there you go. You have my permission. Yes. Well, and so everybody remember Rose said so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so once you get a chance to put some stitches into that mason linen I'm going to be really interested to hear yeah. what you think because I haven't had a chance yet but it's beautiful but every piece that passes yeah. through my hand goes out the door to a customer so I haven't had one yeah so so I have a whole bunch of fabrics to show you uh with I think the mason linens are on the bottom of my stack so we'll get there okay okay so this is um we got a shipment from fox and rabbit of the linen for the cottage garden sampling series the new okay. fabulous house one yes. uh we still haven't gotten our shipment that is um due okay. to arrive in the next little bit um of just stock fabrics and order fabrics but they mm -hmm. were magically able to get this prehistoric out to us so that everybody could get going with the first chart in the series and um i did share it last week but it's so beautiful i'm going to put a photo of it here So this is the historic linen in 40 count. And we also currently have stock in 32 and 36 count. So mm -hmm. if that's a series that's on your radar that you're looking for fabric for, um, you can order it on our website. Uh, and some people are choosing to do each house in the series individually. And some people are choosing to do them all on one piece of fabric. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to start seeing these come together, but it... Yeah. Uh, it, I think it's really she started off great and the second chart in the series the image should be released any day now too okay. so that we can see what that's going to look like okay was this one you were planning to do or I'm resisting okay doing it but okay. it really appeals to me so yeah. I might yeah. lose that battle yeah so uh, in theory if you were planning to do it going to do it would you do it on one piece of linen the whole I think 12? so yeah I think so um I've enjoyed doing those kinds of series in the past mm -hmm. and um f it solves a, some finishing questions for me too right like if it's all on one piece of linen then that's one frame that's one hanging mm -hmm. spot and that kind of thing yeah. so yeah. that's kind yeah. of what I think but um I I have stashed the pattern for the first one when they came in. Okay. And um, before I commit though, I am probably gonna wanna see a couple more, but right. then I probably won't be able to resist and. Yeah, that linen is is absolutely beautiful. It, it's a good mm -hmm. name for it. Um, as soon as I saw the linen, I can visualize, I don't know, some prehistoric dinosaur or something with a yeah. wrinkly skin, so yeah. Okay, so I have another fabric that's kind of a similar color family to show you. You can tell me if you think that the name suits it too. Okay. 
This is Tabby Cat's new color, Windsor Castle. Yes, yes. So it would also work really beautifully for that series. It's just a little bit darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we've got that in 36, 40, and 46. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just like stone gray, just exactly like you would imagine a castle yeah. should be. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We also got an order of linen from Needle and Flax, and that flew out the door, so I don't have a whole mm -hmm. lot that's left to show you, but I will show mm -hmm. you what I have. Mm -hmm. This is 36 count Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. 40 count Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just a great piece of fabric? Yes. 40 count Shiloh. Hmm. 40 count Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. And 46 count Steinbeck. So really good samplery colors from them. Mm -hmm. I did pick up one. Of, of needle and flax, and I cannot recall which one it was. I don't think it's any of those that you showed. And yeah, now I'm looking at those, I'm kind of thinking I might need some more. <laughs> some linen stash. It's really, yes. it's on a Zweigert base, just like most of the hand dyed linens that we carry are. And it has beautiful hand too. So it's really nice fabric. Okay, so now we're into the Mason linens. And um, because they are so popular in our shop, um, they don't last very long. So I have kind of a smattering to show you of what is left. So she is doing color families. We talked about this, I think, in the last video, where there's uh, a light, a medium light, a medium dark, and a dark in the color family. And so it's really beautiful to see them all together. So let me just take a sec to arrange these. So this one is antique button box or antique button, not antique button is what it's called. And that's the, the series. This is 36 count, which happens to be what we've still got in stock. So okay. just beautiful shades. Mm -hmm. And we've got more coming in all the time. I just emailed with Patty who is Mason Linens yesterday and talked about the next shipment that's going to come and what she's going to include and stuff. So um, not very many shops are going to be carrying the Mason Linen because she wants to be able to keep her, keep on top of the demand or um, some kind of approximation of on top of the demand. So currently it is available at the attic and at our shop. And um, there, I the other shops that are going to be involved include Acorns and Threads in Portland. And um, so just watch for that there. And okay. um, I think that there's going to be some releases for Nashville, which is coming up way faster than I'm ready for. Uh, it's going to be the first weekend in March, and there's going to be some releases from Nashville that call for that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and get all stocked up since it's going to be pretty hard to get. So she's also done some limited edition colors. And so I've got kind of a, a lineup here of limited edition, starting with 40 count. And so the limited edition ones just are numbered, number one, number two. So I'll just mm -hmm. show that to you mm -hmm. as I go. So this is number one, number two, mm -hmm. and number three. Mm -hmm. Number four, number five, and number eight that we have in stock. And then uh, we have a couple of pieces of 46 count left. Uh, this is limited edition number two, and this is limited edition number seven. Mm. Yeah. And some of these are she will be able to replicate so that we will be able to take orders if we sell out, but some of them are one-offs. So 
Um, if any of those appeal to you, now would be the time to order. And there is a link in the description box below that will take you directly to the in-stock linens from this parade that you can go ahead and order. Sounds good. Yeah. So there, yeah, well, we're lucky to be having some shipments come in and be well stocked. So I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, so that's kind of it for what's going on. Um, what have you got for stitching plans? Well, I decided last minute yesterday, um, I would stitch a Christmas ornament for my son. And I, I won't get into the story, um, but he doesn't have his childhood ornaments no more. And it's always been on the back of my mind. And I mentioned it to Rob the other day and he says, why not start with with one and I like yeah you're right so I do keep really good notes of the ornaments I have made for the kids over the years so I dug in my stash and I found a piece of 32 count Amsterdam blue my last piece it was the right size so I started stitching it and I have to show you because it is cuter than cute and it's a I don't know if she still designs anymore dragon dreams is the name and by the name, it is a lot of dragons. <laughs> so let me just find the, got it, there it is. I, I think this is the third time I'm stitching this one. So there is the little guy. Oh yeah. And it says peace on earth. So if anybody's looking, either the CD I think you carry or it's 2000, no, 1998. 1998. Yes, 1998. And so I've made a good, amount of progress yesterday so oh, yeah. he's just about in and you can see the color of the Amsterdam blue is is not quite blue not quite green just just a lot of fun sometimes it's nice just to throw in those little things when you're working on big samplers yeah and I have another Christmas ornament I started but that's actually for 2024 so oh. being and I know I know but being that I have 13 grandkids and this time round, instead of me just picking one that I make 13 of them, uh, I let them pick all a different one. So I have uh -huh. to kind of be on top. And those are things that are small, they're packable. You can take them camping, take them. Um, I don't drive, I can't, as a passenger, I can't stitch. So, and the other thing I started, I found a while back a map of Holland. It is a Lenarte. It's an older cross stitch design and I found it and the price on it is the price I paid for it. Oh. It has the chart. It has all of the DMC floss. I had to provide the linen. They, they pulled it out. So my sister got wind of it and said, I'd like to stitch it too. So we are stitching it together. My mom made a map of Holland, not this one, years and years ago. Always loved it, but I never did get it. My one sister did end up getting it. So instead of stewing about it, I decided to do something about it. And so this is it. So I had worked on this probably for about two weeks. And, and it's, it's not that intuitive. <laughs> but that's what I have. Oh, wow. So oh, it's, that looks it's, great. It's very different. Um, it's not the easiest chart to read. And there's like six pages that are very large. So, um, but I stitched on it for two weeks. I actually enjoyed it because it's totally different, totally different. Mm -hmm. But now it got put away because I realized, oh, I have to stitch on Hannah. <laughs> so I started on Hannah this week and I guess Lucy, I will start this week. Mm -hmm. And are, do we want to talk about New Year's plans? Yep. Okay. I think you know where I'm going with this. I do. So if everybody remembers from last year, watching Janice's progress on Peacock, Unicorn, and Badger from the Scarlet Letter. Let me pull this out now just to remind everyone. Yeah. Well, she finished that. And it's hanging on the wall of the shop. And it is gorgeous. So every time she showed it, I just 
my heart went, I was like, oh, I want to. Well, I finally bit the bullet and I got all of the stuff. I'm gonna start this with a friend January 1st. And I think there's other people that are gonna be stitching this too. Whether I get it done like you in a year remains to be seen. I did not get it done in a year. It oh, okay. took me at least a couple of years to do it. Well, I did the math and it was, was it around 300 stitches a day to get it done in a year? Holy Donna. That, that sounds doable. Was it 200 or 300? Don't quote me, but you can do that. You can do the math because it's full coverage. I don't know if I'm going to accomplish that because if this was the only thing I stitched, sure. But I have other mm -hmm. things. So but look at how you did with Miss Marianne Bournes. You got that done in like 10 months. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing your progress because exactly. I loved stitching that project yeah. and it gets by far the most comments of anything in the shop when customers come. I, to I, yeah. Yeah. And if you guys ever get a chance to get to the shop, take a look at it. I mean, it is framed so wonderful. I think when this is done, I'm not going to do the framing myself. I'm actually going to get our mutual framer, Edie. And uh, she does amazing. So, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I love that piece. It was such a really just a peaceful piece to stitch on because you could uh, organize to do the outlining of the motifs and just the filling in. And um, you won't run into the same challenges that I did where I ran out of background thread and um, had to mix up dye lots because yeah. I, we provided you with the number of skeins that I used for mine so that yeah, yeah you're set that way. We learned off the back of your mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that's a mistake, how, but... That's how the stitching community goes. That's, that's how we, exactly. yeah, that's how we roll. So that's awesome. So, yeah. Hmm. And are you, I know you would like to Yes, plan. I would love to start a new project on New Year's Day, but I also really have that end in sight for Hannah Campbell. So, okay. I'm, and I'm not sure how much stitching time I'm going to get. So we'll see. Definitely always That's have nice. things kitted up and ready to go. So maybe, usually I aim for a big project for New Year's Day, but maybe I should just sneak in a little guy. I also have a couple of... Um, blessing samplers put, uh, that I've pulled out that oh, yeah. I may start, not necessarily New Year's Day, but they're small enough that, you know, if I wanna, and I think they're red samplers. So it's mm -hmm. one thought. So if I understand the theory behind the blessing samplers, it's to pick something to finish during the month of January to get your stitching year off to a good start. That's exactly right, yes. And I know GGR is a real big, um, proponent of this of this blessing sample. I don't know if it's more of a European idea, hmm. but yeah. So there's a few people that you know have stepped into that, and I've done a couple, so they're fun. Yeah, no doubt. Hmm. All right. Well, that sounds good. So in January in 2024. We're going to meet to do our video on either the 16th or the 17th of January, which is a few days oh. late, because I'm going to go to work at the attic for the sampler symposium weekend, the which would be our normal filming day. Yes. So we're going to go to Arizona for five days or something like that. And uh See if we can help Jean out, but also participate in the symposium and take classes all four days that she's offering yeah. classes. And um, Mary Cox is teaching a couple of pieces. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I'm, anything that Mary does, I'm just happy to get my hands yeah. on. So mm -hmm. I can't wait. Yeah, we had a Zoom call with our shop owner friends last night and we're talking about that this time next month, we're all going to be in Arizona. So you're right. That's exactly. Yeah, exactly. One month. Yeah. Oh, you will have so much fun. Yeah. Definitely. So Lisa's coming with me and all of the, sh our shop owner friend group people are going to be there too for this one. So Good. yeah, it's going to be a special, special weekend for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I do know people that are going to it. So I'm kind of <laughs> riding the backs of them vicariously. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I can't wait. So anyway, so our video will be a couple days later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all. That's okay. Okay. Good. 
All right, right, Rose. Well, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. And an excellent start to 2024. Yeah. Yes. And I wish the same for all of our viewers. And we look forward to jumping into all kinds of new things in the new year. I agree. Merry Christmas, Janice, to you and your family. Thank you. And in the new year. Okay. Sounds good, Rose. Thank you. Bye. Bye.